Welcome to Lesson 7, The Art of Observation. Up until this point in time, we've been very mindful of the poker players playing around us. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to look for signs that's going to tell us about the sort of hand another player may or may not have. Does he have a big hand? Does he have a weak hand? Can we take down the pot with a big bet now? These skills are going to make us a very powerful force at the poker table. You've got to have in a way of memorising how people play out hands. In other words, based on the outcome of a certain hand, who won it, what hand did they have, and then memorising how they played that hand and what perhaps certain characteristics they displayed when they played that hand. And you, it's only time till you pick that up. I try not to get involved in a hand too early, but watch the heads up positions on two players and then watch the showdown and when the cards are unfolded, you memorise how that chap played through that hand and it goes in the memory bank and you think, right, oh, I've got you pegged, I know how you play. The most important thing with reading players online is watching for betting patterns. You know, we're, we're all creatures of habit and poker is no exception. So you find the player who bets his, over bets his big pocket pair will do it consistently. Slows play, slow plays his set will do it consistently. You know, he'll bet half the pot when he's got a monster, he'll bet the full pot when he's bluffing or vice versa. That's probably the, you know, um, and also too, sometimes it's not totally reliable, but where the player comes from is very good information. Like if you know if they come from Scandinavia, they're going to be really aggressive and very creative with their plays. If they come from England, um, they're going to be very uh, ABC poker. Very, you know, they're not going to take many risks. And if they come from Australia, we have a lot of novices playing in Australia, so you need to hold on to your to your seat whilst you're playing against some of the new Australian players. In poker, it's important that we categorise. When we're observing people on a poker table, what we want to do is we want to put them in groups. So basically we want to categorise the players that we're playing against. The first thing that we want to do is work out whether a player is a loose or a tight player. A loose player will be playing lots and lots and lots of hands, whereas the tight player will be far more selective in the starting hands they choose to play. The next area that we want to concentrate on is the passive and the aggressive player. A passive player is far more likely to call and not put in big aggressive bets. The opposite to the passive player is the aggressive player. The aggressive player will be far more proactive in getting involved in pots. They're also far more likely to raise and bet strongly instead of just waiting for the action to get around to them.